Photoshop Elements 15 is here, and it's chock full of compelling new features that, in my opinion, are definitely worth the upgrade. In fact, this year Adobe has outdone itself, giving Photoshop Elements five new guided edits and some terrific new capability in both the editor and the organizer. I'm Linda Satgast, Adobe scrapbooking expert and Photoshop Elements instructor, and I'm going to list a dozen new features in order of my personal preference. Since there are so many new features, in this video I'm mostly going to list them and tell you what they do. But if you're interested in digging deeper and want to learn more about how to actually use some of those new features, be sure to take my class on Skillshare called Master the Six New Artistic Features of Adobe Photoshop Elements 15. Smart Object Preference is my absolutely favorite new feature, mostly because I teach Photoshop Elements. It's the ability to turn off smart objects in preferences. What in the world are smart objects, you may ask? When you drag a file from the photo bin onto another document to create a collage, each file you drag becomes a smart object that doesn't allow certain kinds of editing like cutting off part of the layer, or using filters, or using a number of tools. You get a warning, but no real explanation. It's very confusing, especially to new people. But now you can simply check Disable Smart Objects in Preferences. I only wish Adobe had this checked by default, but at least there's an option now to disable smart objects. My next favorite new feature is the ability to group layers into folders. I use this all the time in Photoshop, so I'm thrilled to see this capability available in Photoshop Elements. Folders keep your layers more organized. For example, I can put all the layers that pertain to the title in one folder that I can hide or reveal or move as a unit. And notice I have three different folders here, and each of them have multiple layers inside them. But this is nice and organized. So it's a very useful feature that you may end up using more than any of the others. Number three is Adjust Facial Features. This allows you to tweak different parts of a face one at a time. The mouth, the eyes, the nose, and the face. And it's amazing to watch. You wonder, how can it do that? Here's a before image and then an after example from my class on how to use this feature. Again, here's the before and the after. Just think of all the photos you can save using this feature. Number four is a guided edit called Painterly. And here's an example. If you're not familiar with guided edits, these are easy to follow tutorials that create fun effects without you having to know what to do. You just follow the steps one by one and Photoshop Elements creates the effect for you. There are five new guided edits in Photoshop Elements. They're all good and some are really good. Feature five is Effects Collage Guided Edit. This turns one photo into a grid collage and allows you to add a different effect to each panel of the grid. There are multiple grids to choose from, so you're not stuck with one grid. Number six is Frame Creator, another guided edit. This allows you to create your own custom frames to complement your favorite photos and allows you to add your new frames to the existing frame library right inside Photoshop Elements. Feature seven is Smart Tags in the Organizer. If you're not familiar with the Organizer, it's a program that comes bundled free with Photoshop Elements to help you organize and more easily find your photos and files, among other things. I love the concept of Smart Tags in the Organizer because they tag my photos and files for me based on the content of the photos, and I need all the help I can get. For number eight, let's go back to Guided Edits again. This one is called Photo Text Guided Edit. It transforms any photo into text and allows you to add an embossed look and drop shadows. This is especially helpful for newbies who aren't familiar with clipping masks yet, but I have to say it does a very nice job and you can use it in a variety of ways. Number nine is Speed Pan, a guided edit that adds a motion blur behind your subject to create a dramatic stop motion effect. For example, here's the original photo of a horse, and here it is after using the guided edit speed pan. This isn't something you would use all the time, but for the right photo, it adds a very nice touch. 
The last three new features on my list are enhanced search in the organizer, where you can use multiple search combinations to find a photo. Enhanced Instant Fix is also in the organizer. It allows you to edit multiple photos at the same time. And the last feature I'll mention is that the organizer and the quick edit mode in the editor are now touch friendly for computers that have that capability. Just tap to do all your finding, sorting, and quick enhancements. So there you have a quick rundown of the best new features of Photoshop Elements 15. It's definitely worth upgrading to this version, in my opinion. Again, if you want to see many of these new features in action and get some great tips for how to make the most of them, you can take my class on Skillshare.com called Master Photoshop Elements 15 Artistic New Features. Thank you for joining me on this review.